Hi guys, Pavel from Emotiv speaking. In today's video, I am going to talk about these P12 Arctic fans. So, without further ado, let's go for it. Our today's guest is this Arctic P12 PVM PST CO uh, fan. Uh, long story short, it means that it is uh, pressure optimized and it's good for continuous operation. This should be one of the most popular non-RGB fan these days. And we need to find out why this fan is so popular. So let's open the box and let's find it out. Yes, punch of screws and fan itself. Box is not necessary anymore and here we have a fan. Fan have has quite a long, as you can see, cable should be 40 centimeters plus a daisy chain, which is almost always welcome. Uh, nothing special, only black and uh, with Four pin connector for another fence. Uh, what I found as a very useful is this kind of a daisy chain and its length because of this. If you do this and you bring the another one, you can just take do this. And whenever you have it, I don't know, usually on the radiator with this setup, uh, it is almost almost perfectly uh, hidden in a side of the fan, which is absolutely glorious, at least in my point of view. So let's put one aside and continue with the fan. Uh, probably uh, the biggest selling point of this fan is its price at least in my eyes because this one fan will cost you somewhere around 10 11 euros and uh, the direct competitor is more or less uh, noctua or uh, fintex p30 and both of the other fans cost like 30 euros or something like that so more or less three times more than this one and uh, the technical stats wise they are more or less same which is absolutely beautiful and what i see as a very cool in this fan it is uh, that this middle is put a bit inside so whenever it starts spin it's never wiggling which is absolutely glorious yeah if you spin a lot the sign or brand badge is not readable doesn't matter but it looks pretty cool i think at least in my eyes from the back side uh, these pressure optimized fan blades are perfectly fitting. I can imagine that it could be, well, I don't know, one millimeter longer, but it's my standpoint of view. And I will show you for what I'm going to use these fans and maybe a bit later in this video, but first and probably uh, not last. Uh, point why I choose this fence for my future build is because uh, it's price. In these days, find a good fan for a reasonable price is quite high. Almost all new fans which you can find these days are really 20 or even 30 euros and more higher with price, which is for mid-range or even low-range systems, quite a killing factor. 
or sounds like it. So, and now I'm going to show you what is, in my case, the use of these perfect fans. Stay tuned and wait a second. I'm back and here you can see for what I am going to use my Arctic fans. I think that it can be better to use them than on the radiators because as you can see there is no space around the fence where the uh, pushing air can leak out which is absolutely perfect and the second thing is what I have speak about was this when you do this your cables are perfectly hidden in a side of a fence and you just you will just use this one which you can plug into your uh, hub or to the motherboard and you are perfectly fine yeah in my uh, in my case i have another set of three on the background but three from one side should be more than enough and yes guys i am very happy happy about these fans i like them a lot probably the only thing which i can imagine which can improve the fence is that I'm a bit missing the rubber anti-vibration corners. That's the only thing which can be improved on this fence. On the other hand, if the absence of these corners means that the fence will be one third of the price of the competition, I can live without them perfectly fine. And with this bombshell, I would like to thank you for watching to the video. If you liked it, please subscribe and I will see you soon.